Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show off a pretty cool new addition to my Vaporeon collection. So I picked up a Vaporeon GX, but it's non-foil is one of the interesting things about it. So how is that possible? Vaporeon GX, all GXs should just be foil cards. Well, let's take a quick look at it. So this is the card here. Now, if you just glance at the card, you're going to say, oh yeah, it is just a Vaporeon GX, which is non-foil. What's going on? Well, if you actually read a bit further down from the name, you will see that the card is actually a non-English card. So this card is in Indonesian. So Indonesian is one of the languages that they started printing the Pokemon card game in just last year in 2019. They've had a few sets and one of the sets, I believe their third set, contained this Vaporeon GX, which as I said, is in non-foil. Just gonna slide it slightly out the sleeve there so you can see that any glare or anything on it is just on the sleeve. It's a fully non-foil GX. I'll show it just in quick comparison, obviously, to the English one, which is fully foil. One interesting thing about this is, though, they do make foil cards. Here's the Eevee GX, which came from a few sets later, which, as you can see, if I pull this one out the sleeve just a little bit, this one is foil. Now, it may have just been that the first few sets didn't have foils. I don't know. It's actually really hard to do a lot of research into... Uh, the Indonesian stuff, the Taiwanese stuff, the Thai stuff, all of it that started coming out in the last couple of years. I need to do some more research into it. I hopefully want to get some boxes of it, actually. So it may have just been that they started printing the foils a bit later. So I did also get another Vaporeon. This is the one we've had in a recent set in English, but this is the Indonesian version as well. You'll notice one of the main things about it is it has the silver border. This is because these cards are printed in Japan. They're made by the Pokemon company, as opposed to the Pokemon Company International, so they retain a lot of the Japanese layouts, such as the silver borders, such as the, you know, the set symbols being letters and numbers, rather than being an actual symbol. However, they do contain the English back, which is kind of interesting. It's a kind of weird design choice that they're printed in Japan, have a lot of the Japanese layouts, but they do have the English back. So while we're here talking about Indonesian cards, let's have a look at some cards that the seller was nice enough to throw in for us when we were buying them. So we actually got a couple of promos here. Um, you can see that they do have the SMP numbering and the little promo symbol in the bottom. And they have this stamp on which says uh, Indo Indomarit. I believe that is how it's pronounced. Um, that is kind of Indonesian Walmart is what we were told. Uh, that is how they were released. They were store promos. This is actually another one we bought, this one wasn't just thrown in. This is the Pikachu character rare. Uh, Laura was really happy to pick this one up in Indonesian. Obviously again, silver border, the same as the Japanese ones. Um, she also specifically requested Pikachus. We have a lot of the same Pikachu and a couple of Raichu. And she got her Eevees, which she likes, in addition to obviously the Eevee GX, which we just saw few different Eevees there, multiple copies, and then some Evolutions as well. So we got one Jolteon, obviously in addition to the Vaporeon I requested, a couple of Leafeons, and a couple of Sylveons. And then finally just a few other random cards. There's a, a Munchlax, a couple of Happini, a couple of Cleffa, a Clefairy, a Farfetch, two Farfetched, uh, some Poipol, and a Torkoal, which is also a promo. Missed that one when I was showing off the other promos, but that one is also a promo there. So hey, relatively quick video today, but we took a look at my new awesome Vaporeons, which I absolutely love, as well as a quick look at some other Indonesian cards for the first time on this channel. So hopefully you guys did enjoy seeing that. Hopefully you'll stick around for some more videos. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and as always, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>